If I were you guys, maybe I just have a you know horror morbid you know approach to things. But let's see. Drag drag people we don't like in on base and let them go insane. No, we're to- <laughs> no, we were we were talking earlier about the difficulty of marketing your band, right? On a clogged internet, on a, you know what do you do? Well, you guys are in a band right now that a new guy plays one gig goes insane. Think about that. <laughs> Think about. That. <laughs> Just, I see a you're concept giving him album. terrifying ideas right now. <laughs> yeah. I see a this rock This is a opera. fantastic idea. I see a Tommy in your Just future. Just remember what happens when you throw your guitars at people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I miss that guitar. <laughs> oh, Joe once power bombed a guitar into a drum kit. <laughs> I basically handed it to you. Yeah, through right. the air. Across the stage. At my face. Yeah. Into your arms. I give the young kids in front credit. Of my face to protect it. I give the young kids credit that do the where wait, they take wait, the guitar wait. and they spin it all around and they catch it again. I mean, this is in a million years. Could I, uh, could I be able to pull that off without just wrecking everything? No, I've seen that done with a microphone and cord. You know, but yeah, the guitar's got to be more yeah, difficult, that's, right? They yeah. do the yeah. and it's a full, and they catch it and they're back playing. I have, we have a friend who does. I don't know if he's ever pulled it off, but I, I know that Mark was know talking about it, uh, doing it. Yeah. yeah. Mark has told me that, that that takes serious work to even it think must. about attempting. Yeah. And I'm I like, I've got a cable. Where the I'll one trip kid myself. Tried and then threw his guitar like 50 <laughs> feet in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that video. Or the one of somebody else smacking his singer in the face with it when he does it. And the <laughs> oh, singer yeah. getting really yeah. bad. Catches it right in the teeth. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, as far as not having a bass player goes, it's just. You know, from the start, we kind of decided to define the band off of what are the things that are not the usual things that you find in a band. Right. Like, okay, there could be three dudes. There could be a second guitar player. But, you know, if there's only two of us, then we really have no safety net, which I really enjoy. And I assume you enjoy because you continue to go Keep along with this up. idea. Hasn't gone nuts plus. yet. <laughs> yeah, you, you haven't gone insane. Well, no, the, these two guys are immune. Or it's have the, I? <laughs> no, these two guys are immune. It's the additional personnel that go insane. Or the fact that, you know, defining you guys is the fact that you have don't have a bass player by choice and just simply don't have a bass player because nobody wants to play with you. I mean, it's a, 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 making a conscious effort to go out there and do something different is a lot different than the fact that, uh, you know... Everybody's insane. <laughs> what's What's funny is that I feel like at this point we've turned down almost every eligible bass player. <laughs> like we've had friends from almost every band we're friends with offer to step in on bass. Right. Like our our good friend Mark was like, you know, if you ever need somebody to play bass, and I'm like, you're a guitar player. He's like, yeah, but I'd I'd fill in because I like you guys. <laughs> no, no, no. See that's see we, now this is what this is what I was saying earlier when I made the comment that all the eligible all the bass players applying for the job suck. <laughs> that's what I meant. I didn't mean that all ba- you know, there's some good bass players out there. What I meant is that a guitar player who also plays bass and is willing to fill in on bass is not a bass player. Mm. But we've had like actual good bass players off to fill in. We're just like, ah, thanks, but no thanks. Well, it's uh, like the the folk that asked Tony Jones and the Cretan Three, "Do we need a drummer?" Well, hell yeah, we need a drummer. <laughs> but guess what? We can't get anybody to show it's up. It's like, look who's playing the drums. <laughs> we have, our front man is playing the drums. Yes, we need a drummer. <laughs> I, I actually kind of love that. I love your cocktail kit. <laughs> I told Joe after the gig at the salon that uh, we needed one of those. <laughs> It would I mean, really cut down on space. Yeah, it works. It definitely works. It, you know, it's just necessity, though. That's <laughs> it's the, out of that's, necessity. That's and out of, I don't know how I'm going to you know. double bass and stand like that, though. I, I think you'd launch it into <laughs> orbit. <laughs> yeah, no, we actually know another band. Uh, our friends in Dead Harrison, their drummer is also their lead singer, and he pulls it off on a full kit, and it looks like the most difficult thing in the world. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's he's... A wizard or well, something. Well, it's like the Viennagram. They do a, a great job of having a, a, a drumming front man, too. Yeah. We've definitely seen that in various bands. You know, it's just that we found, we tried that, though. I mean, you know, Tony can sing and play a full kit, you know, despite some of his denials to the contrary. <laughs> I mean, he's he's fine playing and singing on a full kit. It's just that you lose something, or at least our band does. It loses something when the front man is at the kit. Yeah, that, yeah. We just, it, I don't see how you can avoid it. It's kind of fantastic, actually, watching you guys play because, you know, much like with with us, where it's two guys walking in, and I've got this one fairly compact amp, 
end, then we make the most noise you've ever heard. <laughs> Same thing. It's like you guys walk in, and it's you and Dave and Sean, and Tony walks in with this wee tiny kit. Already put together. <laughs> yeah, this wee tiny kit that he dwarfs. You make it look like a child's kit, man. <laughs> and it's just like, wow, this is this is awesome. It's very different. Well, yeah, and you know, and that's you know, that's my gig amp right there, that Behringer. Oh, nice. Um, and, uh, yeah, and uh, we none of us walk in bringing refrigerators. Right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessary. There is a you know, in today's technological twenty first environment, twenty first century environment, there is a thing called a sound system and a sound man. You don't need to. That's his job. That, <laughs> Some, I mean, sometimes they do it well, sometimes not so well. I but mean, yes, we've, we've played places job. that don't mic us. Like we play when we're on tour, we play basements and we've played storefronts. I'm thinking of Seventh Street in Illinois. But God help them that they did mic us. Oh God, <laughs> we'd be so loud. But yeah, I walk in with like, you know, either either a little PV solid state amp or like a little crate, you know, tube amp, right? Like under 20 watts, one speaker and. Yeah, it's still the loudest thing you've ever heard. Yeah, I mean, I don't know any of the bands that we play with that bring, and this isn't this isn't a slide; it's just it's a fact. Any of the bands that we play with that bring full stacks that actually need a full stack. I've definitely seen this bands that bring the them that they probably don't need them, but they bring them, and it becomes more of a of a show or just a look at what I have. Kind <laughs> of thing. Look at my <laughs> toys. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Kidding aside, it's a it's what it is now. It's a prop. Mm. It's yeah. It's scenery. I mean, there's, there's like, so uh, friends of ours in a band up north, a band called Potsy, and my buddy Brad is probably the biggest gear nerd I know, and I mean this in the most loving way. If you're <laughs> listening, Brad, you sexy French-descended bastard, you. <laughs> but, you know, Brad is playing out of this specific Marshall through this specific cab with these specific speakers, and he's, like, thought this out. Mm -hmm. well, th like that's, he's, well, that's the He's really that, dove that's deep on it. Yeah, we, yeah. We've thought out and the fact that we want to move as little equipment as possible because we're old. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's about where I'm at with it is, man, you know what? I get everything in, like, two trips, and that includes helping him with his drums. <laughs> I pretty much cut my drums in half. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's fantastic. <laughs> Especially it's, if you're in, a, you know, Arabian areas, we all play at where the parking leaves a little bit to be desired. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've already figured out that if I'm reincarnated back upon this earth, I'm playing either a harmonica or a tambourine. That's, <laughs> a the theremin. <laughs> oh, man. No, because even a theremin, you got to plug into yeah, something. that's true. Yeah. I, my goal is to eventually get to the John Spencer level of success, which is, oh, you want us for a gig? That's the amp you need to rent. <laughs> yeah. And walk in with a guitar. That's that's the dream, man. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing more, better than that feeling of power when you just walk in with a guitar. You approach the stage holding out the cord. And yeah, just stick it. Well, I mean, that's I, what that's what Chuck Berry does, right? He has backup bands, and he just shows up with the guitar. Yeah, in the back Chuck of Berry gallery. shows up, tapes yeah. himself a couple videos of women going to the bathroom. <laughs> you can looks, smell my fart. <laughs> <laughs> looks at looks at the amp, sniffs at it, demands his cash in hand, <laughs> expects the bands to know his song, piece uh, you know, tapes some women peeing again, and starts playing songs that nobody has heard and in he fifty gets years. Paid in cash, <laughs> yeah, cash you know, only. The most diabolical thing he does though is he plays in these. He'll play Johnny Be Good in this very bizarre key, <laughs> like you know, not the key of A, not the key of E. He he'll find some you know key that you don't even think is on the neck of the guitar, you know, and tries to get the pickup band to follow him. I didn't realize Jay was a key, but Chuck Berry thinks differently. <laughs> <laughs> that he gets in the Cadillac and he goes to the next town. What's what's funny is I was actually reading up on somehow I ended up on the subject of Chuck Berry and people just it was a whole thread about. Just what a bastard it is to just play with Chuck Berry and his backing band of Chuck Berry walking in, pocketing money, looking at the amp and going, that's not the dual showman we agreed on putting guitar back in case walking out. He Sorry. still has the money and jumping back in his rented Cadillac, <laughs> like things like that. Or same thing, like Chuck Berry starts, starts it in the key of like F sharp. Yeah. That's not the key Johnny B. Good's in. It is now. Yeah, but, but he's, <laughs> and he just Sorry. expects you to know every song in his repertoire because God damn it, he's Chuck Berry. <laughs> well, on that note, and unfortunately, we're just about out of time. Facebook.com slash 30 Silver Band. How else do folks get a hold of you? And you guys have uh, gigs coming up down the road? We do have gigs coming up. We're playing at the 8th in Cambridge, Mass. at Club Bohemia. Um, our CD, uh, we have a new CD coming out called Lost Saints. 
And that's coming out on January 21st. Our CD release show is at Sammy's Patio and Revere. We're playing at Dublin's Pub in New Bedford on the 22nd and Crossroads Pub in Palmer, Mass. on the 23rd. And then we've actually got a show at uh, Firehouse 13 with our friends. Nice, that's Wolf- right. Yeah, Wolfman Chuck, Demon Boy from New York, Guello, and Necrophiliac Meat Circus. We might have to clear the schedule for that one. <laughs> yeah, clear the clear <laughs> the schedule because that's... That's going to be a Valentine's Day show. Crew. <laughs> bring, the, bring the children. It's all ages, everyone. <laughs> bring the kids. The young ones will love NMC. Yeah. And for folks that want to see your music video, if you go on YouTube, just type in 30 Silver Band. You guys have a, a great, one of my favorite things for music videos and videos in general. It's all in black and white, which I love. I love that. <laughs> We've actually got two of them up there. Well, I want to thank you guys again. George, of course, I want to thank you. My pleasure. Thanks we're for having us, Tony. Uh, George. We're, we're going to go out with uh, the Dust Ruffles. Here is Romeo right here on the Tony Jones Show. Bye, everybody. Bye. Arise, we meet, and I can read your thoughts. I see where this is going.